that was routine. Some nights it led to a scuffle, leave the scene with bloody knuckles, splitting heads in a scuffle. Music glorified the hustle, and I was trying to fit in. It's the apple of my eye, but the fruit was forbidden. Play the hand you were dealt, but my cards were never given. Can't get in the game, you'll never have a chance at winning. I protest like a sit in and fight for my right to be, but I have no right, so cops decide it's my night to bleed. There were a lot of fights on last night. There was a card on the zone that featured Demetrius Andrade and Liam Williams. There was a fight uh, that was on fight that was Ben um, Askren and Jake Paul. And there was also a card on Fox that featured Tony Harrison. But the performance of the night came from none other than Ivan Redcatch when he went down from a low blow to the testes that actually landed on the side. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yes. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, uh, take a look. Oh, they got to show the other angle. They got to show the other angle. Yeah. He ain't even hit him in the spot where he said he hit him. He ain't hit him at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh so you can go online and and probably find videos with better angles we can't show you too much we recommend that you check it out for yourself but gee what are your thoughts on ivan red catch and his performance in the ring <laughs> and the oscar award goes to Ivan Red Cash, man. Whatever that dude's last name is. Red Vac. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but dude's a clown, man. That was despicable for real. You know, he blew up Twitter. Like, Twitter was always <laughs> trending. But then this dude started trending even more. You know what I mean? Because people were so shocked that this dude <laughs> was a low blow. And then they showed a replay, right? Literally, it was like, uh, Regis didn't even connect. It was literally like, if anything, his forearm touched him. But the punch literally went uh, behind his back. So he didn't even land the punch. You know what I'm saying? And the dude took the meanest dive, was wilding on the floor, screaming his his, his ass off, excuse my language, and then left in a stretcher, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like fam, like, Mommy why? Is so you know what I mean? Like, he clearly didn't want to bang. He just did not want to be in there. And it's just like, bro, you got the boxing world looking at you. That To me, that was beyond disgusting. Like, I really hope Trilla does not pay that man at all. His fight purse should just be withheld because that's a dishonor to the sport. You know, especially think about all the new faces that came to watch that uh, Trilla perform. All the casuals. That's what they seen from a professional boxer, not from a YouTuber a professional boxer take the meanest dive I've seen in, in a long time. Like, and we've seen the, the what's homeboy's name uh, that took the forearm from, um, from uh, Ortiz. I forgot homeboy's name, but that one was even suspect, you know, yeah, know. And they're like, yo, we got to investigate that. But at least that one looked like, Hey, it might've been the forearm that knocked him out with this one. He's claiming he got shot in the sack. When they see the replay, if anything, you could probably even argue may have, it might have been a kidney shot. But when they showed a, a different angle, literally the fist did not connect at all. So I'm like, fam, you really are acting out here in these streets. It was just despicable, man. Shame on him. Honestly, um, I don't want to see him in the ring anymore. And I definitely hope he loses all, like, all that money should be withheld. He shouldn't even be allowed to actually perform in the ring ever again. All right, Trill Dollar Bill, man. I got to find out your thoughts on uh, Ivan Redcatch. Joke on the internet, and he was a joke in the ring. Um, it was a horrible acting job. Because um, at least you uh, expect a person to get punched or hit in the spot where you're claiming that you got hit at. It was horrible. Then you had your wife involved screaming in the corner. 
you know, got her involved, have her looking stupid. Now I know she's sitting there cussing you out at the house, looking at their replay. Now, you got <laughs> my friends, and that boy ain't even hit you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think it was? He was he was feeling maybe that uh, pro grace was coming on. It was going to end up knocking him out or something. You know, your 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 woman had more fight than you. You know. Uh, <laughs> I don't, even mean, I don't even mean to say your lady had more fight than you, man. You know, um, I'm with you, G. I think I think that, I think that this was horrible. This was horrible. Um, I don't think he should get paid for those six rounds. Was it six rounds? I think it was um, eight, right? Eight, yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Eight, though he didn't go to full. Yeah. Nah, I think it was supposed to be an eight round fight or something. But what round did he? You went to six, right? No, yeah. man, I don't remember. Yeah, he went, he went sucker mode, man. That's all we know. I don't think, unless if it was something else that happened that has nothing to do with that punch, like he ended up his, had a gold gold bladder. What's that happen? What that happens? His bladder's erupted or something happened that didn't have nothing to do with the punch. Maybe if something else happened, uh, appendix injury or something that has some, nothing to do with the fight. Maybe we got to find out later. But if he's saying it was from that punch, there's no way in that he should get a purse for that. No way. You know what I'm saying? Like they uh held the last homies uh purse, they should definitely um hold on to Ivan's because this was despicable, especially with all the like you say, G with all the new eyes and everything on this event because people tuning in to watch Jake uh destroy the homie. Um yeah, this was this was this I don't like it. Not in not in this sport that I like so much. I have a couple other cho choice words, but I'm gonna just leave that alone. Usa. 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 I uh TBE. The Royal TBE. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh I would say you know the first initial shot of that punch when you saw it hit, when you saw Regis hit him, you thought, oh that it looked dirty because his back was blocking everything. But from the every side angle, it was just like, nah, yo, I don't know why he's laid down like this. But you don't know the impact of the punch. I'm not. I'm gonna say this: that sometimes you get hit in certain areas of your body, and you feel it, it leaves a different, a different feeling. You get shot. You go through shock. So I don't know if he was faking the funk. It looked like he was faking. I'll say he. It looks like he was faking the funk, but I don't know if he was faking the funk. I'm not gonna say he was, but he sold it. Enough it, it, to the point where I could believe he injured. He got he was injured a little bit. He brought, maybe we don't know what happened. I don't know what 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 got injured in that moment. But it looked the way he fell to the ground at that exact moment. If flopping was in boxing, then we got to investigate. We got to create flop gate. But to that exact moment, just to fall to the ground, I I just can't say it was. He he was thinking, oh, I'm about to get hit to fake it. Like like the 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 the. The, the 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 how he calculated how he executed that moment it just did, didn't look like he um planned it at all. Well, when I what I remembered it immediately when I saw that was the fight with Danny Garcia where Ivan Redcatch bit Danny Garcia in his on the shoulder, and they told the ref like, "Yo, this guy bit me." Like this guy bit me and um, he ended up not receiving his purse for that fight. Um, then I remembered the sparring session with Javante Davis where Tank was whooping on him and he was saying how like they didn't show the whole video and he was beating Tank and blah, blah, blah. And then you fast forward to his fight with Regis Prograde and He's on the ground, leaving on a stretcher for a punch that didn't even land flush. Now, there was some contact. So I don't want to say like it missed completely. Um, and it's funny hearing you guys say that because I remember the whole Louise Ortiz thing where y'all were like, it was the form because, you know, like <laughs> could get him. And so, you know, Regis did kind of get him with some form. So, um, but nah. Nothing 
No, I don't see enough force being generated by any possible thing that uh, Ivan Redcatch could have gotten hit with that would have resulted in that. And the convenient part is it happened at a point in the fight where Regis Prograde was coming on. Regis Prograde was landing big punches. Regis Prograde already had this guy hurt. And it's that time where, and this is where people don't understand why you should give someone credit for being knocked out. It's this moment in a fight where the guy who's about to get knocked out knows that he, I shouldn't say the guy, the fighter who's about to get knocked out knows that he or she is about to taste the canvas, but they fight on because they are warriors and they go out on their shield. And Ivan Redcatch was in that moment where he knew he was going to go out. He knew it was going to be painful and he knew the end was near and he was going to meet his demise. And instead of being the warrior that he's supposed to be in that boxing ring, he went down from something that didn't even land and pretended like he was hurt. And he didn't double down. He tripled down by leaving on a stretcher. He didn't even pop up later, provide an explanation. This dude laid out on a stretcher. Like Trill said, his lady's up there at Regis, like Regis did something wrong. Even it wasn't low, even if it was a punch and even if it would have landed, it wouldn't have been low. So for me, um, Regis Progray was robbed of a technical knockout. And and for me, that's what they really need to investigate. They need to sit back and say, you know what? That would have been a technical knockout. That would have been a regular knockout. He got like if they would have said, boom, he would have got count. He would have got counted out. But uh, the reason why. Well, yeah, they should change to a regular knockout. You know what? I, I agree with you, G. They should just change to a regular knockout. He had to leave his stretcher. So, I mean, they should change it to a regular. Exactly. But if there's anything, the commission should take a look at this and say, we're changing this to a knockout. Because I hate to break the news to you, Ivan Red Cash, but you got knocked out. And you got the worst type of knocked out. You got knocked out by a punch that didn't even land. Cause you want to be a sucker, but th- this is what I'm saying to everyone. This is why you should give credit to someone who gets knocked out. It takes a tremendous amount of courage to stand in there. Although, you know, you're about to meet that fate. And last night, what you saw was a guy who couldn't handle that pressure. So he got himself out of the fight. Now, gee, I thought about what you said. He didn't get the purse for the Danny Garcia fight. And he bit Danny Garcia. I wasn't for that. I felt like he should have gotten his purse. They could have taken some of his money and given it to Danny Garcia. But, I mean, the man did take a beating. Everybody <laughs> came to see the fight, right? It was broadcast on network television. To me, it's very wrong not to pay him. I mean, as bad as what he did was biting Danny Garcia, it's wrong not to pay him, in my opinion. He did get beat up. Likewise, last night, although he put on a performance for the ages, Oscar Worthy, probably one of the best we've seen in the sport, definitely in recent times, he did get beat up. He did take some shots from Regis, and he was on the way out. So to me, the answer isn't to not pay the man. I mean, you shouldn't penalize, I mean, his woman, if he has children, you shouldn't penalize the family because their daddy wants to go and be a clown, right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't penalize the family for that. If anything, you can deduct some money from the purse but at the end of, and, and when all is said and done you know the fight still happened people still got to see a show he still put on a show for me the way you get him is you take away his boxing license that was unethical what he did was unethical okay okay, okay i got you send down the ring you take away his boxing license you okay. take it away i mean i'm not saying a lifetime ban but what mm-hmm. i'm saying is this is two times yeah two times and his last two fights, I believe, where one, you bit a guy, and this time you had a suspect injury, punches didn't land, no reasonable explanation for why you need to be carried out on a stretcher. At this point, we're suspending your license, right, indefinitely. And then you decide when you want to let this guy come back and if you want to let this guy come back. But he needs to understand that he can't get away with the funny business he's been doing in the ring. 
to me, that's what needs to happen with Ivan Redcatch. I totally agree with that. I thought you were saying that he shouldn't get no punishment because I was like, I was agreeing with G. There should be some punishment for him doing that. The Danny Garcia fight, I did say that was harsh just because of the pounding he took for the 12 rounds. It got so bad. Danny was like, yo, ref, come on, do your yeah, job. Yeah, Danny was all smooth about it. Danny was like, hey, you bit me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then he just pounded on him, gave him a concussion. I think they should have gave him some bread for that. Just fact that he quit in the middle of the fight, didn't go to full fight, and then quit and did did this crap. He definitely should be punished. I'm with yeah, you. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know who's worse. Nah, actually, not nah, nah. Red Cash is definitely worse. Because I remember Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. when he quit, and he was like, well, he said either he said he got. He broke his nose, or like his nose was broken. No he was comparison, bro. Julio, no, 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 but what I'm saying is he quit on the on the stool, and people were disgusted by but it. Really but I was cool with that because at least you seen him get beat up, right? And it's it's okay. That's a part of the sport. But for a dude to just lie and be like, "Yo, I'm just gonna keep screaming and hopefully." I leave on a stretch and still get paid. I'm like, nah, bro, that's bad, son. That's that would have been the noble way for him to quit, though. The no, the noble been- way would have just been accept the punch and just stay on the floor and, and don't front and act like yeah. it was- Stop yeah. acting like it was a low blow. Act like it was a low blow. That's what he was doing, and that's why it's wrong. You know what I mean? Nah, like- I, I, I don't know. I don't know how, how severe the injury he suffered from that match was. But we see guys like Eric Molina, like a couple weeks ago, when he was fighting a guy, and he took, he literally just fell to the ground, act like he got knocked out, then got back up and hugged the guy. Like thirty seconds later, that's that's to me, that's dishonorable. But what, I don't know if how if he was really injured. Like you, you, like I said, give a couple of days till we get reports back, medical reports or whatever. But I don't know, man. I don't know. That was, they never know. How about never know. in the comment section? Y'all let us know how you feel in the comment section about this. Thank and please like and subscribe. And check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. No, for real. Let us know how y'all feel in the comment section. <laughs>